press record. Now, give me a rundown of what it is that you have to say in video and uh, say it as if, you know, you're just talking to me. Don't worry about whatever is going on around or whichever way. Just say it as if we, we're just talking to your friend. Okay. Okay, so hi, guys. My name is uh, Erwin Delabra. I'm 25 years old. And um, I'm currently, I currently run an e-commerce based business selling cheesecakes and I film all over Southern California. Um, what I'm hoping to do with this, with this business is expand and go into the market of pairing with uh, craft beers, um, such as our Faisons, uh, Stouts, Porters, Heppenweizens, all these kinds of different brews that are out here in Southern California. And I'm trying to tap into that market because I'm also uh, I'm also a craft brew and and you know enjoying a nice beer, so that's what got me started. And um, going back, I did have another business that I I, I kind of launched and I, and I didn't know where I was going with it. It was catering food like shrimp and and different foods and, and cheesecake, and it it didn't go well together. So I decided to stop that. Um, so I left that be and I and I, I took a I took a big hit. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. So I stepped back and I wasn't I had to reassess what, what my priorities were and what I wanted to focus on and what I had passion for. Um so I left the food and a lot of people would ask me, Are you still doing it? They really like the food, but I didn't have the passion, I didn't have the drive to do that. So I, I left that and I started to focus more on the cheesecakes. Um so I started designing um just a little labels here i started looking at ways to make it better find better ingredients um, make it healthier for people and cut the cost down but also provide people high quality um, so that's how it started and i thought of the name steve's cakes because it's not a regular cheesecake it's very custom made um, so steve's it's an acronym for style with ease so steve's means uh style with ease and the cake means uh, come from cheesecake so I combined cheese and cake to make cheese cakes, uh, custom cheesecakes, and uh, it's it's been a it's been over well it's been maybe like about a year or less since I've done that. Um, I have an Instagram, I have a Facebook, um, I have a website. I was in talk with a graphic designer, so that's that's where I'm at now. Um, the reason why I'm joining this competition is to be able to um, expand even further and partner up with other local SoCal bakers, uh, partner up with breweries, and see where I can go with that and um, really expand my, my horizons in, in, this, in this market and possibly go all over the US, maybe even international, I'm not really sure, but that's, that's, my, that's my main goal is to be able to provide a better cheesecake for everybody. Um, a lot of what you buy in stores is it's pretty bad. It's, probably the worst cheesecake you can buy. Even Cheesecake Factories, um, they have a lot of preservatives that are not baked um, at the actual restaurant. They come in a bag and they just scoop it up and they put it into a tray and they design it, they're, they're artists, and make it look nice, but it's it's pretty much garbage. So what I'm trying to do is trying to um, offer something better, more wholesome. It is a little bit more pricier, um, but it is, you are getting what you pay for. Um, so that's where I'm at, and I'm also what I can offer to people in terms of help is that if you want to partner up with me, if you want to uh, do some kind of partnership or prom uh, promotion, we can do that here. Um, I have some experience with the food industry, what it takes to get your your permit, uh, licensing. So that that's where I can help out. Um, but yeah, I look forward to uh, the competition and just can't wait to see the products that we all do thank you guys all right we've got your video i was recording that i can actually chop it up and bring it over to you that's okay. that's that's all you needed that's it yeah because you know at the end of the day these days people are really all about you were genuine you 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 brought your points back home do you know what i mean that's pretty much all there is or if if you want only because you know on this part of the um of the video just because it's like this you could you yeah. could actually come in on your you could actually just go into a meeting 
on 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 Zoom and maybe get a bit more lighting because right now you're a little bit purple. You look like a, I don't know, like <laughs> Oompa Loompa. Yeah, yeah you the lights on the the computer. Yeah, but you you get what I mean. Because the thing is, just just talk to that one person. Don't worry about everybody else. Right. right? You want to speak to that one person who's gonna hear your voice. You see, I was engaged. That's yes. exactly. That's exactly the person who's on the other side, and this I think is gonna help. And once yeah. you know that you just want to speak to that one person, and that one person is gonna receive your message, and when they do receive your message, they're gonna give you a vote or or whatever it is that they they're offering you at the end, because that's what you're after, right? Yeah. Let me give you something. I came in from Africa. That's my flag, Zimbabwe. Do you know where that is? Yes. All right. Yes. So at the end of the day, if I am going to worry what people are going to think, if I'm going to worry about maybe my skin tone, or if I'm going to worry about uh, what everybody's going to think, who's going to feed my daughter? Are they going to, are, are those people that worry about whatever it is, or do you have a family, or do you have a wife or a partner, or, or do you have to pay rent, do you have a landlord? Yeah, just, well, have a girlfriend, have uh, rent, but that's... You know, just the regular bills, stuff like that, but nothing, nothing too, too badly. But I think a lot of my money is going into investing into the business and, and trying to expand it. Um, so that's where a lot of my stress comes in. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna, you're gonna waste all that money. Yeah. Yeah. Just because you don't want to face the camera. Is that, is that, is that something you're willing to live with? No, not at all. No, that's why I'm here to try to get out of that that hole because I'm I've never been inside of, in front of a camera and it's it's kind of scary a little bit kind of nervous kind of feel like I'm back in speech class back let, in college let me tell you something bro the more camera time you spend these days on the internet the more money you make yes All right I, just before in the morning I closed a $2500 deal from a live that I did yesterday all right, so that 2,500 is recurring every single month. So if you're gonna be afraid of the camera, guess what, you're gonna be left with the wave. And nobody really, bro, let me tell you something, nobody cares, all right? You came into my life, what you cared about was how to get your thing done. You didn't care what I was talking about, you didn't care what, who was listening, you didn't care about nothing, you just cared about you. So if you're gonna go in there and speak to that one person who actually cares about what you're talking about, maybe they would see that passion in you and then they would just pretty much help you out, bro. Do you know what I mean? So if you notice, every time you take a photo with a group of friends or whatever it is, some people say don't post that photo because they're not looking good in that photo. Right, right. Right? Everybody's just looking at themselves alone. So if you're not gonna look after you, who's looking after you, my man? Nobody cares, bruh. Yeah, that's 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 a whole truth right there. <laughs> All right, because you you're gonna stop yourself from getting where you want to be just because you're afraid some other person is gonna what look at you in a weird way. Uh, I think probably yeah, just like the judgment, just like not knowing if I'm like if I'm bruh, like dumb. Do you know, bruh. Aaron? Yeah. Do you know you're already naked where you're sitting there right now? So just the illusion of you wearing clothes makes you satisfied then? Uh, yeah. Yep. Right. right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's more to it, all right? So you yeah, put in a lot people. of money, you've invested all this money into this business, and now you're going to stop yourself from just looking into the camera just because you're afraid some other person is going to come judge you? Yeah, it sounds dumb. That's why I wanted to, to just yeah, do it. It's because dumb. Really... It's stupid. Uh, yeah, like, that, it's like a non thing. Yeah, because I can talk to anybody in person. I'm really good at talking to anybody. In, uh, how, how are you gonna sell me your stuff if you're not gonna talk to me? Right, how exactly. Buy your cheesecakes because you might have a really good product, but if you're not gonna be able to talk over me or sell to me, then you ain't gonna chance back. Exactly. You're yeah. gonna be finding people like me all the time. And if you can't sell to me, then how much money are you going to make? That's a good thought. No, for real, bro. 
Who are you going to sell to? If you can't, if you can't talk to people, if you can't put out, because you're the only person that's passionate about your product. Nobody right. else. And if you're not going to put it out there, it's all going to be, yes, Erwin, oh my God, yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do with myself today. Or oh, the camera is looking too hard at me. And then what? <laughs> Then Tell me, the and then what? I'm sorry, I don't mean to be yelling, but then this is just me, bro. Because you've got yeah. the opportunity, you've got everything, you've got the business going, you've got just about everything that you've got. All you got to do is put yourself in front of a camera, and once you're there, sell the hell out of your product. And when you do do that, bro, yes, yeah. I'll be laughing, bro. I'll be like, oh, this is it. Because if you can't sell your stuff, nobody cares. 99% of business fail. You know why? Because the entrepreneur inside of that business is just saying, oh, I'm sorry. I don't feel too good today. Nobody cares. Don't count the cost. You know, you already start. I'm yelling at you right now because you've already started something and you've, you, you, you're in my time right now. So if, if I'm not going to see a video of you being done, I'm going to charge you 1500 for wasting my time. And you will pay it. I'll find you. Yeah, because I... <laughs> you get what I mean, though? Yeah, I do. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you might just feel like, oh, uh, people people don't care. People are busy minding their own business to worry about you. And if you're not going to put it in front of their face, and if you're not going to be aggressive about it, you are going to be, even if you're on the right path, people will just walk all over you. Right. Right, right. Do you know how many products are not yeah. making into market just because the founder is too precious? Yeah, it does make sense. Uh, a lot of things that you have to do in business, you have to step out of your, your comfort zone, just like I did when making a sale in person. I had to go and talk to people. And a lot of people told me no, they weren't interested, but I had to get that uh, confidence, that self esteem. I had to get used to that. Well, it's, it's, it's an esteem of the self. You, you got to keep working on it, all right? Yeah. And the only way you're going to be able to business is to be aggressive because there's yeah. too many players in the field for anybody to even give you two seconds of their time. Right. Yeah? Because you're selling a product that's a luxury. I, I can go without a cheesecake. I don't even need a cheesecake. Because you know what, I can't afford liposuction, so I can forego cheesecake. But if it's presented to me in such a way that I want it, bruh, I'll buy a whole truckload of that, and every kid in Africa who's hungry, they won't have bacon, they won't have cheesecake. You know, because you sold it well. Right, yep. All right, but if you're gonna be like, oh, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, the camera is pointing too hard at me, yeah, that's another day. That's another day gone, bro. Right. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do from now on? Just get the camera and just start rolling. And then just, just keep practicing, get better at the speech. Um, probably work out my, um, my, my whole speech and then my introduction and get it down. Because I have to put a video five minutes long. So as long as I'm able to get that down and, and work on it and look at myself, the screen i get used to it and then just go from there this is All right. the first time camera cool so what do you think of this call today it was pretty good it's very good it's the yeah. kick it's the kick that you wanted yeah uh, yeah i needed to get into the camera and then just you know get out there and actually do it um I'm always willing to step out of my comfort zone. This is one of those times where I had to just do it. Well, just remind yourself that you're just speaking to a complete stranger who just spent 20 minutes yelling at me, but in a good way. So exactly. if, you, if you can stand up to a stranger and still be sitting there, then what is the other person who's just going to be listening at you? Uh, it's just a stranger. Yeah? Same so, person. yeah. Go out there, man. Do your thing. Um, normally, I, I just love helping people out. And if ever there's anything. 
But if you would also want to help me out, I'm going to give you a link to my uh, Facebook page. Just leave us a review and let me know how this whole call has maybe changed your direction or where you're going to go, what's going to happen with you, just so that we can help a lot more people along the way. Okay? Yeah, definitely will. I do have a lot of friends that I have on Facebook that are part of a community. It's like an entourage or group of people, uh, other entrepreneurs just like me. So I'll share that video. I'll show the uh, the link and let more people know about what you're doing and, and you know get you incorporated into our network too. Too easy, bro. All right. So at the end of the day, um, yeah, just leave that review. That's how I pay for my bills because if people see that I'm helping a lot of people, it works out. Um, and whatever you want to join me into, as long as I'm not being held hostage in people that are not taking action, then you, you, you can see my energy. I really will freak out if people are going to be too, you know, yeah, it, it, it's yeah. probably one of those. But if you've got action takers, people that are really, really growing and really want to get places, I'm, the, I'm your guy. All right. Sounds so good. maybe Sounds what good. I will do, what I will do, yeah, I'll just wait for you to, to send through those things. And uh, let me know when you've left that review, okay? Because that's pretty much how I just, you know, spend my time on the internet. Uh, is there anything else? I'm going to send you through this recording so that you can see how you did, because you did well. Um, you know, that's, that's all you got to do. You just got to repeat what you did today. And, um, yeah, just keep doing that because as long